Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We had a lot of conversations here in the last episode and we are gonna start off with at least, if I remember correctly, two conversations. So let's step in. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Aw, oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Uh, we will be nice. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. Mm hmm. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. All right, thank you. Any more of your time. Back to work. All right, so let's see how many of the side quests we are going to do. I think I haven't completed all of them in Mass Effect 1. So let's see. Oh, lady, you have a nice bed. But isn't it weird to have an office and everyone who, you know, have a mission or something? Mission related with you comes in and takes a look at anyways. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision. But I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Why? What level of genetic modification are we talking about? Can we go thorough. through my, them to that, some all? Of the best training and okay. education money can buy, and... Thanks for the information. Of course, Commander. Whatever but you need. 
there I could investigate too. Um, I would like to try. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything yeah. I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Alright, so that means we can finally actually head out and do as far as I... We, we, we have talked to everyone. So I'd say we are gonna go to the co combat information center and go to the... Alright. Shepard, we reach an agreement with veteran mercenary Said Masani. You may know the name... Oopsie daisies. Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. One of on the chance that rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on the console and it's only fair that you believe. Allow to speak to yourself about what you've been hearing. Okay, why don't we actually go to the Citadel first? We've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Said Messani. You may know the name. Said has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus system and is, a feared, is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged him to join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty don't worry about his fee i've taken care of this personally and i am doing actually something i am not doing that often but since i am oftentimes not playing the games directly in a row i will actually um note that down citadel and omega let me um give me a sec Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. The Mies F. Roselli, a survey ship with Cerberus connection, has gone missing. The survey team was peer testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Site Exploration Rover. In addition, scientist Dr. Manuel Case and Robert Olo are aboard the Roselli and conducting research trials. We need to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Roselli was last seen in the planet Sinua. Our scans in the Amanda system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance won't like to honor the Normandy with a monument and to build it on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of those lost crewmen, we ask you to report to the Alliance so that those here assemblies might find some closure. So that's actually quite good. Um, in a way, let me actually go to the journal. Okay, and okay. So before I actually for some quests land there, some so it is quite important to go through the private messages, which I was actually a little bit well, not worried about, but anyways. Um Omega, okay, they I want to go to the Citadel, please, wherever it is. Ah, wait. Ah, that's actually quite neat. We actually fly around. Anyways, we fly around by hand. The Omega 4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings over the last thousand years. Many ships have attempted to pass through, but none have returned. The only one to pass freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega 4. Some say there's a black hole far end, others mostly be in Impoverished underclass of Omega believe they have some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors captured or capture or destroyed those passing through the relay. How the heck do we go to the Normandy? Ah, there we are um, Normandy. Um to the Citadel.
it's actually that is something it's so cool that that is actually coming up okay since we I want to do something here um, today so let's actually recruit here we have three recruits and we will then enter the orbit here and do some stuff um, I've written down the Citadel so I'm not gonna forget if I look into my notes so built in the mind out husk of a metallic asteroid Omega has been a haven for criminal terrorists and male contents for thousands of years at times the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries only to be reactivated by a group of outlaws seeking a fresh start the space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species there is no central government or unifying authority on Omega and nobody can recall a time where it was where there ever was one all right um doc yeah so that's actually gonna be we are gonna start with it today we still have a couple of minutes remaining I don't know how I will actually proceed with all the private messages in the game I would like to have it in the let's play to, you know, have a plot going on, so to say, but I'm not... Sometimes I'm gonna maybe do it in the off, I'm not yet certain. Um, let's take the both of them, actually. Oh, but that looks good. And yeah. Um, let's actually do that and Miranda, let's go there. Okay, good. Then I am good to go. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot, now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Got the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay, Afterlife is some sort of location and i thought he meant i shall go to the afterlife all right we have a conversation coming up please you have to help me no one said you could talk jackass you zaid masani oh yeah that's me you must be commander shepherd hey we have a galaxy to save I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cer... Okay, that we already have, right? Good business. But your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. 
Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Although I don't like his attitude. Because, you know, he's very, very first shoot. Anyway, we have a new quest. So guys, this brings us right now actually to the end of this episode and you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this little episode, then please, why don't you give me just a little thumbs up. And if you want mine, subscribe if you're not have yet subscribed. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.